Hello and welcome to a very special toy review indeed. Um, so yeah, here is the toy I will be reviewing. That's right, it is a Torchwood figure. Yep. Now I think this is the, this is the first Torchwood review on YouTube that I know of. <clears throat> I'm not quite sure about that though. I think it is. Anyway, yeah, it is the Weevil figure. And um, when I saw this in the shop in Collectomania, it's kind of sci-fi shop near me. When I saw it in the shop, I w I was very impressed. <laughs> and of course, I brought it, and here it is. So yeah, it is the Weevil. See, fully detachable collector's display plinth, which you can't really see the T on properly. Yeah, so Torchwood. There's the weevil. And on the back it's got all of them. And then it's got I think the lights in the way there. And it says um second wave coming soon. And then it's oh, yeah, the lights reflecting off it, so it's got the um Yanto and the blowfish. Now you can't really see Yanto properly there. Oh, there. It's as best as I can get it. But yeah, it does look like him. And then on the other side, you've got Toshiko and John Hart. Toshiko doesn't look brilliant, but she looks all right. And there's John. John Hart. <coughs> Wait for that to focus. So yeah, I will get the, this figure out of its box, and I'll review it. So yeah, here it is, the Weevil figure. Um, yeah, it's not doesn't look too bad a figure. It's on its stand, and it's plinth. You can just take that off. So that yeah, that is removable. Oh, there. Uh, uh, so yeah, that is quite a nice addition, you know, for collectors. Just put that to one side. Oh darn, it's fallen down the back. Great. But yeah. Now, um his head isn't the well, okay, it is quite articulated, just not very well. Cause when I got it out of his packet, this happened. Oh, that was the plinth. Which can't be good. So um yeah, his arms spin back through in the sixties, got elbow joints there. See, that's all good. His hands can spin through 62. So, yeah, he can't do the splits. But, um, I think with figures like this, you've just got to get them, you know, get them moving a bit to loosen everything up. So, yeah, he has got, he can stand like that and be fierce looking. <laughs> So yeah, for the articulation, it is all very stiff and a bit awkward. So articulation, I'd give it uh, 8 out of 10. I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> so yeah, the articulation is, isn't is great. The detail is fairly good, I suppose. And we're, we're remembering this isn't a professional figure from like, character options. So, you know, it isn't bad considering. The teeth are pretty cool. The screwed up face, as it were. You know, the hands. The janitor's kind of clothes. <laughs> so, yeah. Detail, I'd probably give this about a 9 out of 10. So, yeah. Um, it's, looking at it, um, hold on, wait there. It is level, well, with the same height, as the Doctor Who figure, so they, I just pick Colin Baker randomly, 
let's do a quick review of him. <laughs> Not. It is um. It is. What was I going to say? Oh yeah, it is pretty cool, really. So yeah, overall out of ten, eight for that figure. So yeah, um, I hopefully will be getting the rest of the set, the other three figures for Christmas. No, sorry, yeah, three figures for Christmas. So, this has been the first Torchwood review. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, yeah, there'll be about three more to follow. Thank you for watching. Um, take care. Uh, bye.